welcome to our first look at Robin Hood Sherwood Buildings. Now I believe this is this prologue is available to anybody on Steam. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and take a look at it yourself. This is not a um, promotion. I didn't get a key for this game. I just saw this and thought I'd try it out and see what it looks like. Because I have had my eye on this game for a while. So yeah, let's get into it. Actually, I just put the sound a little bit down. Yeah, for some other reason it doesn't capture... My, my um, streaming app's not capturing this part of it. I find really odd. I mean, it's capturing this section, but not that. Anyway, let's get into the schoon. New game. Now, I have not uh, played this before. So, this is going to be a blind test knowledge is power skill points can also be found in the world in the form of books or scrolls interesting middle east the dark ages robin of luxley survived the burning suns of faraway lands as he served his role in the unforgiving crusades he emerged unscathed from deadly skirmishes just to become an exile and face mightier enemies in his own home country. After his previous hideout in Silwich, which was razed to the ground, the forests of Sherwood granted refuge to him and his retinue while its new rulers threatened all. King Richard the Lionheart's untimely demise plunged England into chaos and left roving bands and their petty warlords free to fight amongst themselves for territory and influence. The Sheriff of Nottingham, a murderer and usurper, exploiting the pervasive lawlessness, pillages one area after another, increasing his power and leaving the poor residents of Sherwood at the mercy of wild fate. Quest, a safe haven started. Forward, back, left, jump, crouch, didn't see the rest. Didn't see the rest. The graphics is exquisite. Select combat mode. Dynamic, free movement while attacking, no enemy target, lock movement while attacking, enemy target. Uh, I'll do dynamic. Yeah. We'll keep it on rogue. Okay. So you don't choose a character, you, you only play as, as Robin Hood. I can't see his face. Almost. <laughs> Introduction. Press enter to read the tutorial. Really? Robin Hood's main goal is to liberate the full region in central England from the rule of Sheriff of Nottingham and his followers, eliminating enemies and aiding the defenseless through quests and events increases Robin's reputation in the given region. Achieving a score of 40% reputation in a region unlocks the ability to start its main story quest, whose successful conclusion ultimately liberates that region. While exploring a region, you will encounter events and quests that will bring you closer to completing your venture's main goal. Some of these will include map, saving village residents from execution, escorting, ex escorting them, and rescuing them from kidnappers, attacking convoys, warehouses, and tax collectors, getting uh, Assassin's Creed vibes, defending people against corrupt knights, ruthless soldiers, forest raiders, and many other threats. Your character development will depend on the effective use of skill points and the expansion of your own settlement. 
allowing you to craft the necessary items, gain special abilities, or produce necessary raw materials. Okay. Yeah, it's very much um, the same as... Oh, thank goodness it's E. Thank you. Press enter to... No, I don't want to. I want to. Food and hydration. Remember to regularly check your indicators of hunger and thirst. If you neglect either of these conditions, it can have lethal consequences. Simple food items can be found in the world or bought at traders. You can construct a kitchen in Robin's Village that will enable the preparation of much fancier meals. Water is a far simpler matter, luckily. You just need to find a well and have the required empty bottles on you. Don't be fooled though. Bottles are significant items that need to be managed well. They can determine the success of your missions more than once. Okay. So we get to a well. Okay. Got one empty bottle. Craft. There we go. It's very easy. There's your quests. Oh wow, look at the skill tree. Good grief. Path of dexterity, path of shadows, path of endurance, path of the arrow, path of craftsmanship, and something. Skiska or something. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at this map. Why is it doing that? Stable master, click to travel. Speak to tuck. Okay. Sword attacks, special attacks, placeholder. Okay. Obviously, this is not a, a finished game yet. I am so happy that it's E to pick stuff up. That really makes me happy. Too many games. The art of trade. Traders can be found in villages and towns throughout the realm. They happily buy and sell items in exchange for gold. Every trader has their own specialization which determines what they can sell you. Fortunately, they'll buy whatever you're willing to unload. If you want to earn more from trading, remember to develop the skill in the skill tree, which affects just that. To buy an item you're interested in, select it from the list, choose the amount and press buy. To sell an item from your inventory, select it and press sell. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Okay, so we need to speak to Tuck. Ooh, what is that? Wine? Okay. We shall pick up the sea wine. Salt. Hello, Friar Tuck. I always worry when you're away from home for long, Robin. My good Friar, the Sheriff will face death well before I do. My good Friar. The sheriff will face death well before I do. Haughty as always, I'm just glad to see you in good health, friend. Don't worry. We're not in danger this time. We're safe here. Nothing I can do after the nightmare that the Crown's men brought on us and our old home. This time they won't run into us. We're well hidden. I saw to that. The previous settlement was so goodly I know you all too well, you crafty fox. I'm aware you're scheming to fight back. Well, to be honest, this conversation, they could have just had it running because there's nothing else to choose. I mean, if there was something else to choose, then yes, sure. But if, if it's nothing, then just let the conversation flow. What matters is everyone made it out of life. so much. After I defeated Black Henry and freed Marion, the sheriff completely lost his composure. I must stop the enemy before he becomes too powerful. The enemies, the king and sheriff, don't stop at their own henchmen. 
you constantly hear about ever more scoundrels plaguing the surroundings of Nottingham. King's allies grow in numbers. Some are bought with land assignment, others threatened with death and confiscations. We must weaken the grip of the king and the sheriff if we are to feel safe here. Definitely, Robin. Recently, little John had his shirt cut. We can't take risks like that. He'll recover. You know him. We each have our crosses to bear. You say so yourself. I needed coffee. Well said. You may be right. This settlement seems secure. This time no one will find us. Time to let an arrow loose right into the beast's heart. I believe you, dear Robin, but before you do that, you must regain your strength. Setting up a new village is exhausting work. Eat something, have a drink, rest in your home. We'll talk later. Yeah, that conversation could have gone without me clicking anything, honestly. And I don't really care for Friar's voice. Um, it's a little bit put on. A little bit too put on. Grab a little later. Okay. We have a nice new place, I can't say. Be careful going into the northern grotto though. You can dig up a heap of stone there, but the walls are unstable. I was almost crushed by a boulder there recently. Call from the hills. The people of Barnsell, I'm asking for your help. I'm already at my wit's end, waiting for my only son to come back home. I went out hunting days ago and still hasn't returned. He was last heading into the woods near Wentbridge. Anyone who has seen him or heard of a wild animal attack, please tell me. Have mercy, don't make a mother suffer. So I guess these are like extra quests. Mate, heal thyself. That collection of small white flowers growing in the meadows of Barnsdale is yarrow. Someone gets hurt, someone takes a stab, and the blood spurts make a bandage out of it and put it on the wood. Wound. Ugh. I was looking at that character on the left by the light. Uh, then take good care of yourself. Wash with water from rushing stream and you will be fine. Your herbalist, Melissa. Okay. Can you steal moss? Like Sard, you can. To the thief who steals moss in large quantities from the woods of your Lord Dudley to Thane. If we catch you, all this moss will be shoved in your arse in the presence of the public until your comes out of your foul mouth. <laughs> wow. Harold Akar's servant of our Lord Dudley to Thane. What a jerk. Wanted Robin Hood. Okay. So I got all the side quests. I have water. Who are you? Marion. Please, look out for yourself when you're out gathering the herbs. Very funny. I've been locked in a tower once and now there's no end to the jokes. Jokes? Me? My dearest, I'm only a simple outlaw. I know nothing of jokes. Just like I know nothing of herbs. Come here, simple outlaw. I've missed you. And I have missed you, Marian. Going back to your woes, little John has been teaching me how to swing a blade properly. Anyone who gets too close will now find themselves a head shorter. Alrighty, well we've met Marian. Ooh, meat. Horse pouch and a wooden arrow. Take all, yes. Okay, so there is stuff that I can loot. Lovely. Pick up the tubes. Yes, please. Well rested. Okay, sleeping is important. It not only allows you to save progression, but also restores your health. Look for places marked with owls and lanterns. This is where you will be able to rest. Be careful though. After a sleepy night, your hunger and thirst will get the best of you. The game auto saves whenever you fast travel or walk up 
close to a signpost or stable master. There is no auto saving combat during an event or during instances related to some quests. Good to know. Okay, let's loot all this stuff. That seems important. Can I put stuff in? Oh, I can. Okay, so it doesn't stack. Barley flour. Roast rabbit I'll take, because that's food and apple. Barley roll. I'll keep the other stuff here for now. Don't want to eat an onion right now. This is Robin's chest. Yarrow bomb repair tools. Ah, oh, so I drag to an item in order to fix it. Mead. Skewered boar or salt. Uh, let me put the salt here. Wine. Stone. Yarrow Ooh. potion. Water bottle. Simple sword. Can I put the simple sword in there? Water bottle. Food, uh, mead, yarrow potion looks good, beer, antidote. Well, until I get other stuff. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Until I get other weapons and things, I'll keep that in there. Could put arrows up there. Lovely. Good stuff. So I am thirsty. So let's eat. I said eat. Okay. Okay, so now we are fed. Checkpoint. Free slot. There we go. So we have saved. Oh. Dang it. Mouse is very sensitive. I think I would want an owl in my bedroom, on my bed, like that. That would be a bit much. Uh, so this is as high as we can go. This is pretty though. Really pretty. Owl. Oopsies. Um, uh, ouch. Need to go to sleep. So I nearly fell to my death. Okay, so it's not an actual physical sleep sleep. That's fine. Who wants to waste time? Not me. I should pick up all these rocks there. Ooh. What are you? Connie was the map and stable masters. You can use the map to fast travel to a chosen signpost to stable master location. You can only use it if your destination has been discovered. You're not in combat in an event or certain closed locations. 
Fast driving to a signpost costs hunger and thirst. A wild trip. Fast driving to a stable master costs gold. A dashed line in your map hints at the nearest location of a fast travel point. While viewing the map, you can press the show key button. In the lower left corner to display locations where a key in your possession can be used. Some keys are specific and pinpoint to a single location on the map, while others are more obscure and can only be assigned an area. That's a bit complicated. The show reputation sources button on the map allows you to distinguish locations where you can earn reputation from all others. Okay. So you can't go through your items in your scroll wheel. So that's the trader. Manage your village. Okay. So we need workers, beach, sandstone and moss. Clay and pine. So we can expand. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. We need 12 stone. So where do I put the stone? How do I close this? Items in storage. Clearly there's a storage close by. I think. I'm gonna pick up all the stuff in the Thames. Ah, oh, there's the storage. Okay, so I can put the stones in here. I'll put the salt in here as well. Cool. So you put all the stuff for your village in the storage. So now I should be able to build pavings. We can only build from here. We can't build in the village. So each one of those is going to cost me insufficient resources. Okay. We did a thing. Okay, so we can build in here. Interesting. What are you? Okay, let's go see. Oh, these trees are absolutely beautiful. So I can't pick up those stones and the grass. So long. We need a lawnmower. Uh, I need to go speak to. Tuck by the looks of things. Bridge. Oh, 
and I keep on fooling myself to this, that's gonna not be pleasant. Okay, so that's my tree. Oh, hold on. Acquiring resources. Mining raw materials is a tough job, but you can speed up and improve your work. All you need to do when mining is to strike at the right moment, shown by the cursor icon. And you will reduce the time and stamina required for the next swing. Tools and weapons have their determined durability level. It decreases with each use, and when it reaches zero, the item succumbs to destruction. Ooh. When a tool or weapon breaks, usually that means it's time to make a new one. However, if you're partially attached to an item, you can use a precious heart to obtain repair tools. They can help you restore your equipment's durability. Every tool you use has its own sharpness level. It determines the type of resource you can extract from the environment. The better the tool, the rarer and more valuable the resource you can get with it. Oh, wow. Very complicated in indeed. Very, very, very complicated. So we need to go speak to this dude again. Have you already managed to get some rest? Good friend, it'll never cease to amaze me how little sleep you need. This can't be healthy. It's good for you, as long as you have water instead of wine, good friar. I'm not swayed by this. Besides, those who sleep don't sin. I'll keep my wine. <laughs> I knew how you'd react. Take it easy, Tuck. Your cask supply is safe. I should think so. It's a strategic reserve for a time of crisis. Certainly. Not another word. I take it you slept so well you misplaced your weapon. Where is your bow? This time I didn't lose anything. I broke it during the hunt. We've had so much work with building a new village that I haven't had time to craft a new one yet. The forest hasn't been kind to us of late. The worst is behind us, however. And now you can take to making your bow in peace. Grab a hatchet and fell a few trees. The wood should suffice for both the bow and the arrows. I have a hemp cord here that should do as a bowstring. That's all the help I need. Thank you, Tuck. I know how much you value your weapon. See to crafting it, but be right back. Our village needs your help. Um, okay. Chop trees and collect wood. Do I have... Oh, I do. Okay. Go in here quickly. Oh, another one. Repair tool. L... Eel. I want to take that since they are rare. Persian carpets in the middle of the woods. Okay, so I've got an axe. Let's go. Let's grab some water. I don't like the camera doing that. That's awful. Cut down your first tree. So you get an achievement on Steam for doing that. Yeah, that, that camera is absolutely awful. I don't like that at all. Because it's only certain trees that you can cut down, not any tree. Yeah, it 
swings the camera. That's stupid. That, that is really awful. I really don't like it. Owing to Robin's crafting skills, you have an easy time creating some basic equipment. Select the item that interests you in your inventory. Choose the amount and click the craft button. Items that need more specialized equipment such as swords will require you to return to the village and use specially designed buildings. Learning new skills or improving the ones already known requires experience. You gain it in many ways from fighting enemies, completing quests, extracting resources, hunting and gathering to construction. Skill points can be used to develop the skill tree or spent on developing buildings in the village that affect your special skills. Knowledge is power. Skill points can also be found in the world in the form of books and scrolls. Cool. So in my inventory, I can now make a boat. Yeah, there we go. Spin that there. And I can make arrows. Awesome stuff. That's a beautiful boat, good grief. So you, you can aim. Don't think I should shoot him. I don't think the villagers would like that. I did see a um a sheep and a goat and another goat that don't move Speak with a bow fire. like this you have nothing to fear unless you get on marion's bad side again by telling her to cook for you even the purest steel and holy water wouldn't help you then time's long past We've explained things to each other, and agreed I wouldn't make this mistake again. <laughs> uh, speaking of whom, have you seen her anywhere? We just spoke to her, dude. Be at ease. This time no one lured her into a trap. She left to help the locals. She'll be back sooner or later. That sounds like her. You said you could use my help here? Yes, there are many things we need. Food, most of them all. A better archer couldn't be found in all of Sherwood. Before you set off to take from the rich, perhaps you could use your skills to aid us. I'll gladly try out the new bow. Stoke the fire. We're having a roast tonight. I'll leave the meat in storage. Everyone in the village is working so intensely, a small feast should lift their spirits. Okay. One way of securing food is through hunting. Luckily, there's no shortage of game in the local woods. A hunter's skillful eye is bound to promptly spot prey where it's most easily found. Does are alert, careful creatures. Sometimes they're a tricky quarry. Essential, it's essential to approach them carefully and make good use of your archery skills. To use your bow, all you need is a few arrows and a free arm to draw it. Senses are one of your more important skills. Their development significantly affects gameplay, and it's possible by developing the trap as a hut in your village. Hunter's vision and tracking are the most useful senses when hunting. However, remember to also develop intuition and keen eyesight, the levels of which improve the performance of the other senses. Just as useful while hunting as during a fight is the ability to make the passage of time seem slower to Robin. Oh, if, if. It allows him to more easily manage his targets. This, as well as other skills, can be improved in the skill tree. So F for slow motion. F. Ah, so. Is she? Okay, so we need to go find something to eat. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is where you can travel to eventually. Okay. No idea, so it is that way. So 
I need 25 dough meat. This is stunning. It really is. Give me a fright. What the heck? What's that? Point. Yes, thank you. I need that for stuff. Oh, I can take a read. Bums to match the hood. Collect your first herbs. Hmm. Just got another achievement. It looks more like hawks. <laughs> but anyway. I shall grab more. Oh, bandits. Oh, I like the game mechanics. The, the fighting mechanics are pretty cool. And they... Oh, that's so super cool. I like it. That was easy enough. And I didn't die. They have a little camp here. Let's take all of their goodies. Lard and mead. Okay. It's nice that I can use their fire as well. I think the, the deer are up there. So let's get the bow ready. I can't climb, can I? No, I can't. I can't. Love the willow trees. quest over there. This is a cliff. I think there's an opening to get there. Don't think there's an opening from here. I think I need to go around that way. Let's go see about this quest. This, this is annoying as hell. With the camera swinging, that, that is awful, absolutely awful. That would really make me not want to chop wood, to be quite honest. Okay, there was someone close by here that needed help. To the right. Right. There it is. What do you want? Feel Friend or foe? Depends what you think of King John and the Sheriff. One onto the pyre, the other to stoke the flames with. 
Brent. Very well. The name's Theobald, good master. On a quest to find cocaine. On the road for months, all of us. The sheriff, may his part shrivel and fall off, has been a thorn <laughs> in all our sides. Left my home in cinders. Barely made it out with the family. Gathered the rest of the people, and so through the woods we go week after week. Cocaine. Don't take offense, but that is a made-up place. Not made up, but legendary. And I shall find it. Besides, better to look for cocaine than to live where the sheriff rules. Tui! There's some right on your side. Perhaps you'll make a stay at my village. It's... I'll stop you there. I thank you, but we continue on. The sooner we set out, the faster we'll... Damn it! What now? Spirits? Where's the bandits? Ow. What the heck? Okay, those were weird bandits. Wolf hide. Okay. Oh, Blasted survived. savages. Normally we manage, but we've been on the road for some time and we'd be in dire straits if it weren't for you. I can't offer much. Hunger afflicts us too. But tell me your name and anyone we meet will know. Its bearer is a good man and fierce warrior. I have no want for gold, nor do I seek admiration, but thank you. I am Robin of Loxley. Thank you, Robin of Loxley. Yeah, keep your head on the sword, buddy. Okay, let's go to the other side and see if I can uh, get some meat. I think I got a thousand XP from that, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a doe. A little doe. Where did it go? Like the wobbly arrow. Oh, there's one right here. And I missed. Aren't your first dough? Did I hit it? I did too. Okay. Get five meat from a doe, that's pretty good. So let's get up on here and see if we can see them a little clearer. Just wait for these does to settle down a bit. Did I get that one? No, I did not. New. No. soon.
got it. Nice. Let me go grab that. I don't know if stuff despawns. Three more to go. Oh, hello. Two more to go. That was lucky. He was stuck. Oh, come on. No, stand still. It's kind of like real bow hunting. I just wish it wasn't as curvy. It drops down way too quick. Like the, the arrow falls a little bit too quick. was a nice shot. Wow. It's a hit and miss, honestly. But once you get it, it's it's pretty easy. I know other people have complained about the bow mechanics and I, I do get it but I mean it that's how a real bow works pretty much but the arrows drop a little bit too quickly so if, if anything they they should go a little bit more straight Ooh, coins nice I like coins Deliver the meat to the warehouse. Okie dokie. But I do like this. This is really stunning. I oh, said so this is also a hunting area. stones and put them in here. Okay, I shall put the meat in here. I shall put some more stones. Fine. It's construction. If it says construction, I'm just gonna put it in here. Crafting and meat. Okay, and now we need to speak to Friar Tuck again. Saints and heavens above, you're back safe and sound, good Robin. Allow me to ask, how was the matter of our doze? Was your hunt successful? How long have we known each other that you still need to ask? <laughs> My eyes haven't failed me this time either. I just hope that there's enough for everyone. Please, make sure they have a warm meal today. By the blessed mother, of course it shall be done. 
Well fed and under your leadership, they will soon take up proper work. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Yeah. The mean? expansion of our settlement, of course. The merry men are starting to run out of breathing room. You are surrounded with many loyal people. Each of them needs a roof over their head. The more houses there are, the more able bodies we have for work. I think I know what you're hinting at, Tug. Have I become that predictable? Hmm, in that case, I won't beat about the bush. We need wood to construct homes for the village's inhabitants. There's more of us here with each passing day. Really not a fan of the wood chopping. I'm really not. Really, really not. I mean, if they could just stop the camera from swinging, it won't be as damn painful. But, yeah, the camera swinging like that is, is a nuisance. This forest is stunning. it actually didn't do that so it seems the further away you are the easier it is okay apparently I can't smack that with my axe why is there paddles in here what the heck are you doing with paddles they look like rowing paddles so this must be the place that uh, nearly caved in that other dude. But we don't have a pickaxe yet. seems like there's something off with the, the the target when you chop so it goes off to the left hand side I mean right hand side it's still aiming at the tree but it's a little off-putting and if you try and take it back to the tree it just pushes you back to the right Oh, that's the moss. Let's see. Where is she? And also, you don't have to click, click, click the whole time, which is also awesome. Well, my axis is getting. It's getting there. Uh, let me join some. Where's the water? Takes it out of inventory. That's a bit silly. I got 50. Okay, that's more than enough. Can I craft? Because hmm. I don't have this thing to craft. But 
Available skill points, 18. Strong back. Yes. Bow damage. Max health. Yes. Yes. I want it. I want everything. <laughs> Armor penetration plus 20 critical damage. That that's a pretty good one. Execution attempt damage. Max health. Status resistance. Bow special damage. That seems like a good one. Tool durability, absolutely. Eight inventory slots. Yes, please. They all seem to be really, really good. Like, I want everything. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely the mine, but I don't have a tool for the mine yet. I do need stone. And I do like let the, the orange glow on everything, so you know where it is. Oh, in these forests, I just cannot get over how beautiful this is. Really pretty game. Really impressed. Really, really impressed. Let's see if I can grab enough stones in the village, maybe. Don't have a pickaxe. Hey, there's a moon. Okay, but we're already a village to press enter to read. Spanning a village is a means to help you develop and gain new skills. However, before you can start building structures, you need to uproot enough trees to make room. To move around in builder mode, with directional keys, the camera can be rotated with your mouse as you right click. 13 pages, good grief. As you expand your village, you can choose one of the smaller trees you want to cut down and construct a selected building in its place. Trees cut down this way go to the village. Oh, that's, that is awesome. So I can cut larger trees and it just goes straight into storage. Don't forget that you need the right resources for construction. This goes for both building materials and food for villagers assigned to work, which need to be kept in a special storage building. They will be used automatically while building. The number of able-bodied workers is strictly tied to your village, village's population. In order to increase the population, you must build special houses on trees. Every building has its own unique function that allows for progress in increasingly difficult quests. Village buildings are divided into four categories. Crafting is used to produce special and unique items such as bars, armor, potions, swords, food, etc. Special buildings are responsible for the production of raw materials. These allow you to delegate jobs such as hunting, chopping trees or mining raw materials to the inhabitants of your village. Honing skills improves Robin's abilities in hunting, shooting a bow, melee, combat, etc. Decorative, which serves to enhance the village's aesthetics through replacing fences or pavements. If you want to construct any building or structure, you have to place the correct materials in the village storage. Buildings can be managed, upgraded or demolished. When you click on a building, its options display. The village community consists of builders who main, whose main task is to expand the village. They can be assigned other roles such as hunter, fisher, herborist or miner. Each of these roles provides a resource which can be sent to the village storage or Robin's inventory in order to build up the village. Remember to relieve builders 
of their own other tasks. Okay, well that's good to know. Okay, so let's go into here and see if we can cut a tree like this. Let's tell him to go and get... Can I... Up, no, I can upgrade them too. No assigned workers. Oh. Center storage. I'll just do one. Oh, he's busy, okay. Um, Herberist, let's assign one person there. Fisher, assign a person that we don't have. We only have two people, right? Hunters, no assigned workers. Yeah, we only have two people in the village. Oh, there we go. If I take out, I wonder how much wood that gave us. A furnace needs four workers to build. Five workers to build. Alchemy lab. So we build housing. Okay, we need a lot more trees and stones to do that. So let's chop down some more trees. I'm trying to cut them down strategically. <laughs> should give us more than enough wood. Okay, but let's go put the other stuff in here. The mouse is extremely sensitive. And there we go. I need to keep some wood on me so I can make extra arrows. Construct a house and speak to Tuck. So I do have to construct a house. Okay, let's get these guys off their duties quickly. So we can build a house. Oh wow. So it only builds it on these big trees. Very nice. And they're quick. So who are these other guys just walking around? Because so maybe if I build this house, they're going to move in. Don't have enough stone for another house. This is pretty cool. So you're building a little village too. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. And done. Nice job. Okay, let me assign those those two guys back to their, their respective jobs. Because I think I'm going to put one hunting and one on stone since I can't get stone myself. And there we go. Go minions, go do your job. Why are you floating, dude? Or well, you're just super tall. Good grief. Okay, let's speak to the fire tuck and then I am going to end this episode. There you are. I saw the new building. A fine job. I've always believed that carpentry is an exceptional craft. True. Looks cosy. Now is the time for the people who live there to get to work. 
Fortunately, none of them expect a free dinner. We have a few tool production specialists here, and if you build a furnace, you will see that for yourself. Hmm. Tuck, are you trying to use some underhanded ploy to send me out into the woods? God forbid, this time to the quarry. The furnace requires stone. Extract it and watch over the construction. You won't regret it, as we need the tools the furnace provides. <laughs> okay, so I guess now I have a pickaxe. Stone pickaxe, there we go. Okay, so it does give you the tools when you play the tutorial, you know, do all the stuff that provides you with the tool. But it's a very, very nice game. I'm really enjoying it. Besides for, for the chopping wood that was a little off. Everything else is really enjoyable. So this, this guy can now be spoken to, little John, who's not so little. But yeah, if you enjoy this game and want to try it out for yourself, it is available for free, the prologue. I don't know how long you can play for, but I mean, I've been playing for over an hour now, albeit a little slower than one would normally play, just so I could show you guys exactly what's what. But yeah, very playable, very enjoyable. I could totally see myself playing this. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope I see you in the next one. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning.